Hey YouTube, Rennie here once again. Smoking Robert Lewis Wingfield Mixture. A um, somewhat, how can I say it, difficult boy <laughs> um to review at least for me it is um a different kind of blend i would say definitely very um very smoky blend and of course some uh some people believe that they're smoking Latakia. Um, I read on, um, I think on Tobacco Reviews, um, something about some people believing that it does have Latakia, some people believing that it doesn't. I guess the blend really doesn't have Latakia. And, but, however, I did read that the tin notes that it does have Latakia. The tin that I have doesn't say anything about it, so I don't know. But I'm assuming that it really doesn't have any Latakia. At least from, you know, from what I've read, I you know, I kept reading um, different sites on Robert Lewis Wingfield Mixture. So this is just a Virginia, um, very, very stoved Virginia uh, mixture. Very much so. Um, enough to where, you know, um, if you didn't know anything about it, if I hadn't read anything about it myself, um, I definitely would have thought that, you know, I was tasting a very different kind of Latakia. <laughs> well, anyways, all right, let's get into it. What am I tasting? Well, you know, again, this is a, 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 a blend that um, is very smoky. Um, it's got nice strength to it. The, the fact that it's just Virginia was a little, um, it's a little different for me. And I couldn't put, put my finger on it as to, you know, how I was going to go about um, reviewing this, considering the fact that what I was tasting wasn't what was the what the blend was. However, this is what I did. And it it worked. It worked extremely well. What I did was I smoked an English blend, an actual English blend with Latakia and you know um it, Virginia's Cavendish um, I think it had Orientals, I'm not sure. Probably not, because I really don't smoke a lot of Oriental, but I, you know, I, I, I smoked, um, like, I would say half a bowl of, uh, uh, of an English mixture. And then I smoked, without giving myself any time, you know, um, between the, the blends, immediately I smoked a bowl of Winfield mixture. And let me tell you guys, this blend here has a lot, at least for me at that point, what I was able to taste was a lot of undertones. A lot of undertones, okay? This is this is a very, very nice mixture, okay? Now, unfortunately, like I said, I could not taste that right off the bat. But once I, I tried it second to an English mixture, what I got here was a very, very, very stowed Virginia taste. Um, but all of a sudden I could taste the Virginias, okay? Um, the, 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 the flavor itself, the undertone of this, uh, of, you know, of this mixture is, is a nice, sweet, stoved taste. Just, with just a, a, a slight hint of, uh, of clove, uh, like, anise like that anisette taste that you get 
uh, from certain mixtures. It, it just kind of had a little bit of that, but it's a very nice stoked Virginia taste. So much that I started realizing, okay, I was completely off the mark on this uh, on this blend. This, this this blend really does have something different. Um, and you know, I, I was able to pick up on 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 those tastes. Once I was able to pick up on those tastes, I realized a first thing that I was doing is I was smoking it wrong. Okay, that's the number one thing I was doing wrong. I was smoking it like a Latakia blend because you kind of taste that. You kind of get that taste so i was smoking it wrong this is a virginia blend it behaves like a virginia blend if you smoke it too fast if you draw on it too aggressively you're going to burn the taste out and you're going to get a very it's just an overly smoky taste way too much um and that's what you're going to get you're going to miss out on again the undertones of this blend um and you're going to miss on you're going to miss out on all that of course if you take your time if you sip on it unfortunately i hate doing that but sometimes you have to um, but you're going to get a lot more, a lot more. And if you are really careful and you, you know, kind of maybe get into it without letting your mind drift off, drift off and, you know, and other thoughts, um, if you stay with the spline, if you stay with the smoke, realize, you know, uh, figure out what you're tasting, you will. I, I think you're going to get all those, uh, all those undertones, uh, those very nice, sweet, stoked, um, undertones that are very nice. Um, this blend is definitely something that I, I'm, I'm enjoying more and more the more I smoke it. So, um, unfortunately, I mean, I should give it a wow well factor, but I can't only because it's just, it, it was just so hard for me to, to figure it out. It wasn't something that just grabbed me right away. That's the only reason why I'm can't give this a, 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 a wow factor. But is it a nice blend? Absolutely. It's a very enjoyable, pleasant, um, fun smoking experience. It really is. Um, will I ever buy it again? Probably, yeah. I Definitely. I, I think this is one of those uh, blends that, uh, you know, it's just a, just a very beautiful blend to smoke. Just a very beautiful tobacco to smoke. Do I recommend it? Of course I do. But bear in mind, you might not get, if or if you don't get everything that I've described right off the bat, give it some time, maybe try what, what I am suggesting here, what I, what I did, not that I suggested it, but what I did, uh, and see if that does anything for you. But luckily, hopefully, Maybe some of you guys will get it right off the bat because it is a very nice blend and I really enjoyed it. And that's it for me, compadres. This video is running long. I'm sorry. Robert Lewis Wingfield Mixture. Very nice. All right, compadres, comadres. As always, thank you for watching. If you still are, Ivan con Dios.